Never lost any secrets. The great man who had made John Fisher and was talking to eternal glory. This man would be of the noble clan. Bruce of Earth, this man. And I, for one, believe Bruce Wood to be this man. And it's around him we shall unite, not by the color of our skin or what subjects we do, but by our inherent fishiness. So whether you come from the feminine aid floor, the thoroughfare of B floor, the ghost town of C floor, <laughs> the red light district of D floor, <laughs> or even E wing. Actually, does anyone here come from E wing? <laughs> no, God, I'm serious. Like. <laughs> but even those guys are part of us. It's a heck of a <laughs> and it is this unity that has held Fisher together for 50 years of history. Like that time in the 70s when we were used as a mental institute. Or when we were used as a set for Indiana Jones 3. Or how were the birthplace of Patrick Monroe. Or that brief period in 1994 when all of accommodation services was part of Canada for tax purposes. But I digress. <laughs> This time I was standing presidential, so I decided to visit old Bruce up on D floor. I was trying to buy a drunk and snack. When I looked down the hall and saw someone looking hardcore. It was a ginger slayer, but who let him in? And at the door I saw old mate Tim. About this time I was like, oh, i Probably some toast being made by God. <laughs> oh, so the point that I'm trying to make here is no matter what you do. Many ways of John Fisher will end up distracting you. But I traded all for none, even though the fact remains that I'm fresh as scum. But if it weren't for John Fisher, then I'd never be here at all.